our distinguished speaker, um, Paul Gilroy, the first holder of the Anthony Giddens Professorship in Social Theory at the London School of Economics. Uh, one of the great iconic figures in what we would call multidisciplinary, cross sort of country, cross borders, politicized cultural studies. A very, very learned and erudite British man, a gentleman really, you'll see what I mean with extensive interest in <laughs> literature, art, music, cultural history, as well as social sciences. He's internationally known for his work on racism, nationalism, ethnicity, and for the way in which he has a really pioneered the history of the African diaspora into the Western Hemisphere. A path-breaking scholar, a historian of music and of the Black Atlantic diaspora, a commentator on the politics of race, nation racism, an archaeologist of the literary and cultural lives of blacks, in the West, and so on and so forth. I am extremely, extremely fond of Paul Gilroy. He knows this. And he occupies in my intellectual landscape the position of a sort of symbolic brother. I discovered as I was Googling that we even graduated in the same year. Born in the East End of London to Guyanese and English parents, he obtained his bachelor's degrees at Sussex University and then each your heart out completed his PhD at Birmingham in the days where a Jamaican intellectual by the name of Stuart Hall was supervising dissertations. Many books, all of them path-breaking, agenda-setting, Ain't No Black in the Union Jack, Small Acts, The Black Atlantic, Between Camps, also published as Against Race, and After Empire, also published as Postcolonial Melancholia, which is a little bit of what we will hear um, about tonight. Um, extensive international academic career, go and Google it, you'll see, but also very much an activist, somebody who has worked for the Greater London Council for several years when there was a Greater London Council. Somebody who even as recently as last year, it's getting so embarrassing, um, worked and um, organized a, a, a huge um, art exhibition at Tate um, International, Tate Modern. As somebody who doesn't hesitate to actually stick his neck out and speak loudly and clear about the great race issues of the day. He's as bold as he's elegant, as brilliant as he's subtle. Please welcome Paul Gilbert. 